Hello, everybody. My name is Anthony, and um, today what we're going to talk about a little bit is um, some of the um, challenges, the um, understanding depression and facing uh, major ch depression challenges. And I wanted to go into this a little bit more because I, I feel like it's a it's an area that's a little dark, to put it bluntly. Um, I know beautiful souls, we're on this journey and we're diving deep into the heart of darkness and light. Facing depression head on is really, it's more than just surviving. It's about thriving and possibly turning these battles into bridges and for a brighter future. At least that's why I'm doing it. Um, it's happening kind of later in life for me, but at this point, I don't have a choice. I'm just dealing with what's in front of me. And, you know, we don't always get to choose how things come to us or how we learn or how we get to do things. We just have to take it one day at a time in front of us, and that's it. Um, so it is like being in a dark room with the lights dim and but it's more than just a fleeting sadness it's a deeper deeper feeling that affects every part of your life and we don't really talk about it and it's a condition that's recognized and talked about and more, more importantly it is treatable and we need to use professional people that know what to do with it. As you've seen some of my videos on the um, TMS and um, some of the things I've been doing, you know, since I retired, it really has become a um, whole different ball game for me as far as looking at life each day and seeing how I'm going to live it. And I want to live it in a different way. And, you know, yes, a lot of these things that we go through, there's battles. You have daily battles in your life. But the other thing is that you have ways to work with them if you allow yourself to do it. Um, you know, there is medication, there's therapy, there's lifestyle changes. And there's, you know, these, these are different swords and shields, you might say. A therapy can be the lighthouse guiding you through the fog, like behind me in this dark, dark sky. You know, it, it is like feeling like you're in a storm or you're in this lost darkness and that you have no way out. And it just feels um, very ominous at times and like you're not sure which which way to go, like you're actually feeling for the, the room that you're in or where you're at, because you're not sure about what's in front of you, behind you, on each side of you, or is there going to be a big black hole you're going to fall into? So the medication can help us get our balance and rebalance this chemical symphony in your brain. But the other thing that's really important is it isn't just the chemical. It's if you don't have that neurotransmission with the, the electrical impulses, then it's not going to change either. So there are like some, several things that need to be done. And exercise is also part of it. And that's not my favorite part either, but, you know, it's something you have to do. Um, because number one, if you're on medication, it helps speed up everything. And the blood is moving through your whole body and it's actually able to do its job better. So there's also something else you might un uh, not understand, but getting through the struggles documented by a doctor isn't just about diagnosis. It's a key that unlocks the doors. It could be special accommodations at work or school, or job opportunities um, that acknowledge and support your journey. These are some things that I didn't even know, but, you know, 
that part of my life is over and swept under the rug at this point because I realize there are people in your life that sometimes you're better off not going back to because they don't help you. They just hurt you. So, and I know we all have family members like that. We have friends that we thought were friends. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we are able to move forward in ways that help us and where we regain our strength. And that comes from facing and managing uh, your depression daily and working on it on a, on a regular basis. It doesn't just happen. It's a daily, daily thing you have to do, like reading an inspiration. Or one of the things I do is I read um, something from Dr. Amen's book. And um, I actually... I do. I have his book right in front of me here. So um, I'm just going to pop it open and see what it opens to. Assess and optimize the four circles of your life. And the four circles of your life are biological, spiritual, psychological, and social. So if we're balancing these areas of our life, then, you know, it's one way to help to start getting our, um, our treatment under control. And plus, you're going to feel better. And, you know, like one of the things that he also says, or not him just says it, but I feel it um, because recently I had a fall and went sliding across the grass, like going into home base, and really got my knee good and did a good bruise. But, and, and I'm going through that scarring where the scab is about ready to come off. And then you realize, you know, we have a lot of scars in our life. Battle wounds from that we can see on the outside of our body, and we have much more on the inside. And those wounds are deep, and they're in our heart. And it's really important that we take care of those and not keep peeling them open and letting them bleed. We need to take care of them in ways that allow us to grow. So yes, we do have battle wounds. And, but they can also become your most powerful narrative in your life because Sometimes it also is about, it isn't just about getting through the shit. It's about becoming resilient and moving through it. That's what allows us to go forward. So the other thing is that, you know, it's not just a fight in vain. We're shaping. Part of our life is being shaped by this, whether we believe it or not. And as we wrap up today's voyage through this tempest and the tranquility, turn it into tranquility. And, you know, remember, major depression is a formidable foe, but it's one that you don't have to face alone. There's strength by getting help and getting strategies on your side. Every small step for you is a victory. Keep walking and fighting. Let's turn the shadows into a canvas of light so you can see the dark sky behind me and you know what? We can lighten it. We have to lighten it. We don't have a choice. We have to look for the light on our journey. And there is light. The more journeys of courage and hope, if you want to hear more about what I'm going through and how I've been facing it, please subscribe um, and like if you, if you do like it. Or share it with somebody who might get something out of it, because that's why I'm doing it. Um, I'm doing it because I've always done things to be of service to other people, whether it was in the hospital, in a secular setting, whether it was at the VA, 
or whether it's on the street with people in front of me or at a grocery store or at a theater or at a casino or wherever I'm at. I am open to healing no matter where I'm at. And it comes to me and it will come to you too. And I hope that we can share this journey together and, and find ways to help each other. And please, if you have something you'd like to say, I'd like to hear from you and I'd like to share it. And I'm also looking for people that have going, are going through their own journeys of depression. I'm going to be doing some Zoom um, interviews. And if you'd like to do um, a five to eight minute video with me about your path, about where you've come from, where you're going, and you know how you got here to where you're at today, I'd like to hear from you. Or if you're still struggling, because the more we can share, the more other people will hear. Somebody might be able to help us in a way we never thought. So blessings to all my lovely souls out there. And thank you for listening. Namaste.